Hi Singapore, let's today I want to talk about HDB flats. For Singapore, HDB be a good investment for people like us. Yes, with intensity, integrity, and intelligence. Regardless of this, there are so many cuckoo -cuck Singaporeans always leaning their ears on some wicked and selfish opposition stuff for the sake of opposing the government, complaining that Singaporeans couldn't afford a house and also a HDB flat or apartment being not a freehold but just a 99 years leasehold property. So what? The question is, if the houses were freehold, would the Singapore government care so much, even for maintaining and colouring them? Since the houses are already yours forever, so that means there's nothing to do with the government. So who besides the main property owners have to be responsible? Look at those houses in other countries being freehold. The residents have to fork out their own money to maintain even for the outside roads sometimes. Hence, so what if the HDB is of 99 years leasehold? First, a person will not live that long like 99 years. And second, buying a HDB house is forever yours. While the value keeps on going up as population increases over the years. This is how the logic works. More populations means higher demand for housing that increase its value. So please tell those cool cool Singaporeans even there's gonna be a 10 million population in Singapore. It's nothing but necessary. If they want space, they are in Indonesia and Malaysia for them to enjoy their retirement. So why I say that HDB housing is forever yours and it's better than a freehold and also good investment. Besides what I mentioned earlier, do you know that it's so easy to sell and buy HDB in Singapore in just a few months if you're not that greedy? When your house is near 30 or 40 years old, just sell it away and buy a new one and the price of the newly built one is always lower than the old houses you sold. So in a way, it's just an exchange. Old houses become new. So even if you could live 1000 years old, you just keep on changing your house at no loss sometimes Maybe you can make a profit and your house could always be new with new structure, new concrete and new technology. In other words, you won't be affected by the depreciation value. Therefore, it's so stupid for some Singaporeans demanding freehold kind of housing from the government while we could keep on exchanging for a new house and stay depend on how many times you want. Moreover, you could use your CPF to pay. What's more is that you could rent out your houses too. Although there are some rules apply, but depends on how you're going to play with it. If anyone is unhappy with a 99 year leasehold, then just rent it out. Then when the time is near to 40 years like this, just sell it away and buy new ones for our children or keep the money. It's so simple like doing 1, 2, 3 math equation. So what is there to complain about HDB?